let's say we are creating a board and we need to add a new component this regulator which is here and uh, this what I'm going to show you is one of the ways how you can create new components and how you can for example use this panel which was added in Altium Designer 19. Uh, when I find the component in DigiKey, I will copy the part number. I go to my schematic. Uh, I will open uh, schematic symbol library. Now I would like to see the manufacturer part search. I will make it a little bit bigger. I would like to see details of the selected part. I would like to search only in DigiKey. So only DigiKey is checked. Now I would like to search for this part. Okay. I would like to create the part which I can buy in uh, one piece. I don't want to create this one because I can buy it only in minimum quantity 2500 components. I would like to create this one. Right click, import into my schematic symbol library. Now I would like to download the symbol and footprint. So download. I would like to place these uh, files which will be downloaded. I would like to place them into my project directory. We need to wait a little bit. OK. Close. I'm going back to this schematic library panel. Left click on the component what we are creating. Left click on properties, parameters. All these parameters were automatically imported from DigiKey. And I would like to hide this uh, supplier part number, this what is here, because we don't want to see it. So left click here. Go to general, uh, designator, you question mark, uh, comment. I'm going to use the uh, part number, control C, control V. Let's go and let's have a look what we have downloaded. So this is the file what uh, we have downloaded uh, from the part search. I'm going inside. I'm going to unpack all these files. And uh, I'm going to open it in Altium. What we are going to do now, we are going to simply copy this symbol what we have downloaded and we are going to place it into the new component what we are creating so we don't have to draw it manually select uh, everything click on edit select all or use ctrl a now edit copy or ctrl c go into our schematic symbol library Select the symbol what we are creating, edit, paste, left click. Wow. Yeah, we saved some time. And uh, now if you like, you can move the pins, you can adjust the symbol, but uh, it can be helpful. It can speed up uh, the process of creating the symbols. We need to create also footprint. So uh, left click on this project tab, uh, open the footprint library, what we have downloaded. Go to PCB library panel. And here you will see, you can choose from several different footprints, what you can use with this symbol. Let's say we would like to use this one, uh, simply right click, copy, go to project tab, and uh, open our own uh, footprint library. So it is here. I'm going to open it. And everything what you have to do is just right click here in this area and paste one component. And here we have in our own footprint library. Now we have also the new footprint. Uh, same as for the symbol. Uh, you may want to adjust this footprint, uh, but it still can be useful. 
or because this really can speed up the process of creating the footprints and also uh, during this import uh, when we imported this footprint into our library we also imported the 3d model so here automatically the, fo the footprint also has the 3d model that's really good don't forget to save this library uh, go back to project tab and go back into our schematic symbol library left click on schematic library tab uh, and everything what we have to do now is just assign the footprint to the symbol what we are creating you can do it through this button which is here or you can go to uh, properties general and here you can just left click on this add button browse this is the footprint inside of our project library okay okay save now we can go into our schematic left click on project tab open our schematic then uh, go to components tab this is also something what uh, has changed uh, since Altium Design 19. If you have a look, there is no libraries uh, panel anymore. You need to use components and here you will find the library. This is the library, what uh, we are creating or what we are using. And here is the component, what we have created. Double click and you can use it in your schematic. What is interesting is the information uh, down here, uh, which is located in the components panel. When I select different component, watch this information. It's automatically updated. That's cool. Uh, let's uh, double check the component what we have created. Uh, so select it, simply just left click on the symbol, left click on properties. And here we can see the designator is U question mark. It's here, you question mark. The comment is the part number. Here is the comment, the part number. Uh, this is the footprint, what we assigned to this symbol. And, um, and when we imported the information from the DigiKey, we also imported these links. So for example, if you would like to see the data sheet directly from the Texas Instrument website, if you would like to see data sheet of this component, just uh, left click here and here is the data sheet. Uh, if we go on these parameters uh, panel, again, all this information was imported uh, from the DigiKey and you can use these parameters, for example, when you will be generating bombs. So in the bomb, you can say that uh, manufacturer of this component is Texas instrument, the exact part number is this one, or you can also say in the bomb that you can buy this component in DigiKey and this is the supplier part number. This information, when you use this information in BOM, it can be very, very useful. And uh, when I say BOM, I mean bill of materials. Okay, BOM is basically a list of all the components which are used on your board. Before we completely finish, I would like to mention one more thing. Uh, if you import a symbol or if you import a footprint, don't forget to check it, okay? It's very, very important. Always check imported symbols and imported footprints. And that's everything for today's video. I really hope you found it useful. If you like this video, please don't forget press like button. I really mean this, okay? Uh, it's... It's very helpful when you like the videos and uh, it's also very helpful when you subscribe for this channel. So if you like this video, if you like this channel, please subscribe. And uh, yeah, I would like to thank you very much for liking, subscribing, commenting and see you next time. Bye.